It's moving time for the Obamas to a new home that's really a fishbowl like no other. They're facing just a whole new life that they cannot imagine until they're in it. Bonnie Angelo has written two books on family life in the White House. She says every first family has to do it their own way. The parents have to make it feel like a homey place. First daughters Malia, 10, and Sasha, 7, will be the first young children in the White House in decades. Chelsea Clinton was one month shy of 13 when the Clintons took up residence in 1993. Chelsea couldn't even have lunch with her dad at a restaurant without cameras following every bite. In the 1970s, the youngest of Jimmy and Rosalind Carter's four children, nine-year-old Amy, moved from Georgia into the White House. She was known to roller skate through the mansion and play in a treehouse on the South Lawn. You want to come up here? Read it. Carter had been the first young child to live in the White House since the Kennedys in the early 60s. Caroline was just three and John Jr. a baby when JFK became president. Before the Obamas move into the White House, for the next 10 days they'll be living here at the historic Hay Adams Hotel, built in 1885. And the Obamas won't have to look very far to keep an eye on their future home. It is literally right across the street. Tomorrow, Sasha and Malia will begin classes at the private Sidwell Friends School, the same school that Chelsea Clinton, Al Gore's son, and President Nixon's daughter attended. Joe Biden's granddaughters go there now. Sidwell knows how to do security. Sidwell knows how to handle um, the children of presidents and other dignitaries. Tuition is nearly $30,000 a year, but it also has a rich history in diversity. Washington Post reporter Nikita Stewart says Sidwell and the city are prepared to embrace the Obamas. It will be a big deal um, to get Malia to come to your birthday party and to get Sasha to come to your sleepover. Social pressure indeed, but nothing like the pressure of the office itself. Bianca Solorzano, CBS News, Washington.